a point is not to be sniffed at, but I'm sure your team could have won that at certain moments, couldn't they? Yeah, we've we've just uh, debriefed in there and we probably feel it's like two points dropped in terms of the balance of the play and how the game went. Um, I thought after the, they scored their goal, the initiative and the impetus of the players to get back in the game and show a, a willingness to want to go on and win the game was what we wanted. Uh, we finished um, the first half all even, came out second half and, and I thought we, we tried to do, carry on in that same vein. And then uh, probably there's the one small thing that we all agreed in there was probably in and around their box. We could have done better with the final pass or get the final contact on it. Um, they got bodies behind the ball. Listen, they dropped to a 5-4-1 low block. They got men behind the ball and not wanting to lose the game. So it was difficult for us then to try and break their defensive rear guard. But in terms of how the boys showed initiative, um, I got nothing but praise for them. Josh Caroma's goal, we just talked to him about it actually, Darren. A great moment, probably the biggest one to celebrate today, obviously. Um, and psychologically a big blow in the team's favour. But even before that, the team had been occasionally tentative, went deep inside their own half, more options were needed. You sense frustration, the players kept the calm. But that tentative, possibly lack of confidence in some ways, it seemed from the sidelines, came back in the second half. Is that still something you've got to work on with the players? Trust amongst themselves, somebody to take the initiative, that dynamism that's been lacking. Yeah, and I thought, I, I thought they, I mean, on the balance of the play today, we felt we controlled the game, which we wanted to do at home against the opposition. We had two teams that came here today that we knew the importance of the game. We knew that both teams wanted to win the game. Both teams certainly didn't want to lose the game. Um, and I suppose in some essence, it played out that way. The first half, I thought um, we were a little bit tentative when they could have been a bit more aggressive. We spoke about that half time, being more aggressive with our play. I didn't have no problem with us off the ball in terms of showing that aggression, but we wanted to show that aggression on the ball as well. Um, so when they scored their goal, it kind of livened us up a little bit. Josh Karama scored a great left foot finish, lovely finish for him. I'm so pleased for him because we've spoken about the chances he's been getting in recent weeks. So for him to get the goal, I'm really, really pleased for him and it'll settle him down because when you get your attacking players getting in the position that they've been wanting to get in, he's probably felt he could have done better with one or two uh, of his chances, but he scored, which is the, the, the main thing for him and will give him the world of good and the confidence. And then after that, I just thought to myself, the way the boys went about the game and tried and probed. Um, but we just, when, when you look around Oggy around their 18 yard box and you look at their bodies, what they had around it, they had a lot of bodies in front of the goal. So some of our shots was um, from the edge of the area, uh, trying to shoot through people um, or crosses in the box and them just getting on the end of it. So looking at that point of view, we have to keep showing that endeavour to go and win the game. And it was certainly, if you look at both aspects, did we want to go and win the game or did we sit back and take what we had that weren't the case because we did try and win the game today and equally we're trying to read the opposition that is the former England under 20s coach uh, and to his credit he brings on Mikkel Miller um, because Mumbo was starting to struggle with David Kasumu Miller did a good job it was actually an interesting aspect of the game to, to watch man for man the different interactions and battles going on uh, there were others but I'm not going to or you or anybody else on the ones we were talking about during the commentary. On resources, Darren, specifically, we've got to remind ourselves that Thomas, Karoma, you've occasionally had to play them in positions that are not their natural ones. Sober Thomas has often been a, a centre forward. In an ideal world, you would have different resources in those different positions. You deserve a bit more luck in that regard, to say the least. We've talked about this a lot before. What is the situation on, on striker availability? Radulovic suddenly becoming unavailable. Have you had some, some bad luck or has somebody done something wrong in training there? No, I think when you look at uh, Bojan, um, a real simple, mundane, um, on his own, nobody around him, just getting a contact on a ball and he just thought he felt something really. So from the medical team perspective, we the decision was made this morning really, we just couldn't risk him, really couldn't. and. Um, I would imagine that's what, that was a frustration because we saw a cameo role in what he did last week in the cup match and we could all see what he'd bring us. But the, it was the most mundane and you'd probably have to say it was whether it was bad luck or what it is. But hopefully, I'm hoping that I stand here and it's something minute and we get him back hopefully for next week. But I can't, I can't be assured of that until the medical team really assess him on Monday. So that was that situation there. 
the two boys up front, we've got Sorber and, and Josh Karom, and we know the, the position that they not naturally would play. So we know that they're playing um, to accommodate for the team. Um, but they're doing really, really well in terms of what they're doing for the both of them, for the team. So we know that. We know the situation with Dell. We, it is what it is. Um, Can you remind us what that is? Forgive me. Uh, with Dell, it's the incident that happened at Blackburn when he, uh, the the incident that happened a little bit off the ball when he was breaking away. He got the he took the initial contact from the from the Blackburn player and scan results showed later that it sustained a more more damaging injury than what, what, what we thought anticipated. Even though he finished the game, so that was a real disappointment. Um, and then Bojan, hopefully isn't minute. Kyle Hudlin suffered a, a, a concussion in the game behind closed doors. We played Manchester City, we played their B team. And 24 hours later, he suffered concussion there. We know the situation with Kian. With his situation, he's out long term. Um, so that's the, the, the bits where you'd associate people in those strikers' positions. So we're having to make do, but um, the boys are, are, are doing... They're giving the, the crowd hope, really, and, and that's what we can hope for in this situation that we're in. Uh, and I've got complete trust and faith in them in, in terms of where they are. We do feel as a team we'll score goals. We do really feel that we score goals, and we've shown that uh, in most of our fixtures this season. We're pleased with our performances. I've got better. There's more of a front foot aggression approach to us. Um, and the boys are showing that initiative going forward, but what we have to do is continue to keep building on top of that. We've got a really important game against Blackburn next week. We get a full week to work in training. Um, we've debriefed today a little bit after the game. We'll do some more on Monday and we'll build it again uh, over the course of this week. A lot of people were arriving at the stadium really looking forward to seeing Alex Matos. He gave us lots to talk about even at Man City last week. How do you think he did today on his home debut? I thought he was bags of energy. I thought his aggression was there to, to see. Um, I mean, the goal, he, he probably could have course scored. I just saw the look back and I, and I didn't realise. Where he hit the side netting. Hit the side netting. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a, the finish was on there for him. But credit to Alex. I, I thought he broke up a lot of play. We won the ball back in, in their half, high up the pitch. Large percentage was that down to him, the way him and Hoggy combined together, and, and Jack Radoni. So I'm really excited to have Alex. And what he'll, he'll end up doing, you'll see him build his minutes more and more and more. Up until this part of the season, his average minutes has been 50, 60 minutes because of the lack of game time. But we're building him, and um, and he's going to be a really important part to us, really. So really pleased with his performance today. Given the injury look you're having, you're not tempted to put him in cotton wool and make him sit down for a week just to get ready for Blackburn away. Okay. So he doesn't sustain an injury. Yeah, okay. all the boys are wrapped in cotton wool, if truth be known, uh, because we're having to wrap them in cotton wool because we can't afford to lose any more at this stage. So every single one of the players that you see in the group are wrapped in cotton wool because it's so, so important and essential that we keep the bodies. Uh, the big thing for us is and the important thing is that we've not got a two-game or three-game week because we would really struggle. So I'm really pleased over the month of January, it's a one-game week where we can work um, and, the, and the group can put all their energies into the game on a Saturday. So at the moment, until we get bodies back, um, I'm happy the way the fixture list is panned out at the moment.